underprivileged episode begins, Roger Ramjet is trying to talk his way out of a difficult situation at American Eagle headquarters. Roger, you promised you'd take us today. Well, uh, yes, I know, but I just remembered that I have to go to the opening of the Lompoc Opera season. They want me to throw out the first act. That's tomorrow. Oh, yes, so it is. That's right. You said you'd take us to see our favorite singing group, the Cockroaches, in person. Oh, well, a uh, promise is a promise. Let's go. And so it was that a short time later, Roger Ramjet and the American Eagles arrived at the theater where the cockroaches were appearing. Boy, this is really great. The cockroaches came all the way from England for this special appearance. Probably getting even for the Boston Tea Party. What did you say, Roger? Uh, oh, I, uh, I said they're probably getting an awesome feast, Marty. Yeah, they're being paid $50,000 for this one appearance. Oh, quiet, everybody. The show is starting. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our big show. Hey, that's gibbering Jimmy Tone Deaf, the famous teenage disc jockey. And now here's what you've all been waiting for. I've been waiting for you to fall in the orchestra pit. Hey, they are the greatest thing that's happened to England since Dunkirk. The fabulous cockroaches. I'd like to spread your name from Liverpool to Quebec. Wait a minute, those garbled voices sound very, very familiar. And sure enough, Roger Ramjet's super sensitive ears had detected something. What is it, Roger? Just as I suspected. Yes, just as Roger suspected, the group on stage looked mighty like Noodles Romanoff and his band of no goods disguised as cockroaches. Those aren't the cockroaches, they're imposters. No, the imposters are singing here next week. Stop the music, or whatever that is you're doing up there. Quiet. Quiet. You're all making a serious mistake. Sit down, Roger. You're embarrassing us. But those aren't the cockroaches. It's that arch criminal Noodles Romanoff and his despicable band of no goods. Can't you tell? Now you think we're stupid or something? Us, your kindly throw this unruly bloke out of here. And so our hero was quietly asked to leave. I tell you, you're making a terrible mistake. But still undaunted, Roger returned a short time later, wearing a clever disguise. By disguising myself as a teenage cockroach fan, I hope to sneak back into the theater and expose their fiendish plot. Roger! I'll explain later. Oh, I beg your pardon. Aha! Just as I suspected, you must be the real cockroaches. Well, <laughs> oh, that's funny. You don't sound anything like your records. Boy, I hope Roger's okay. Sounded like he really got clobbered. Wait, here he comes again. Okay, Romanoff, you phony insect. You're through. Don't pay any attention to him, thousands of loyal fans. We're the real cockroaches. Well, then whom do you call this? Uh, these? Uh, there? Uh, those? Okay, Ramjet, you got us. I guess we'd better give up. Are you going to turn us over to the cops? You don't get off that easy, Romanoff. I'm turning you over to these teenage cockroach fans. Well, boys, I guess we saved the day that time. Uh, what's the matter? You spoiled the show. We liked it. But they were fakes. We know, but they sounded better than the real cockroaches. Go try and be a superhero. And so once more, the forces of evil have been handed a severe trouncing by the champion of justice, nearly everybody's hero, Roger Ramjet. When Ramjet takes a proton pill, the crooks begin to worry. They can't escape their awful fate from proton's mighty fury. Roger Ramjet, he's our man, hero of our nation. For his adventures, just be sure and stay. 
stay tuned to the station. So come and join us all, you kids, for lots of fun and laughter. As Roger Ramjet and his men get all the crooks they're after. Roger Ramjet, he's our man, hero of our nation. For his adventures, just be sure and stay tuned to 